it does take quite a long time to make change, even with the best will in the world. When it comes to British TV, everyone has their favourite memory of when things have gone wrong. Whether it's live TV or our favourite pre-recorded shows, things don't always go to plan. There are so many iconic TV classics, but these are our favourite top five moments of chaotic British television. Number five. Despite being the most serious genre of programming, it's usually live TV news where we get our best laps. I didn't know that bit was coming. On the 8th of May 2006, the BBC wanted to interview a technology journalist named Guy about a legal dispute involving Apple. It just so happened on the same day, another man named Guy was attending the BBC for a job interview as a data cleanser and was waiting in the BBC reception area. They famously called the wrong guy into the makeup room, then the studio, leaving poor Guy Goma answering questions he knew nothing about live on air. What does this all mean for the industry and the growth of music online? Well, Guy Cuny is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Were you surprised by this uh, verdict today? I'm very surprised to see this verdict to, to come on, on me because I was not expecting that. When I came, uh, they told me something else, and I'm coming. You got an interview there, so it's a big surprise anyway. A big surprise. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, with regards to uh, the cost that's in, in, involved, um, do you think uh, now more people will be downloading online? Uh, actually, if you can go everywhere, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of people downloading to the internet and the website, everything they want. But I think uh, it's is much better for the development and uh, to improve people what uh, they want and to get uh, on the easy way and so fast uh, the things they're looking for. This does really seem to be the way the music industry is progressing now, that people want to go onto the website and download music. Exactly. You can go everywhere on the cyber cafe and you can check. Uh, you can go easy. It's going to be a very easy way for everyone to get something uh, to the internet. 20 minutes after the television interview, Gomer attended his job interview, which lasted 10 minutes. Sadly, he was not hired. Next at four. It's not always live TV where things go wrong. In 2020, during an episode of Celebrity Bake Off, YouTuber Joe Suggs passed out after cutting his finger. I just cut my slice of my finger open really bad. Help. Ouch. That's literally the first thing I do. There's always one. I have to chop the end of my finger off. I might have to sit outside for a bit. A bit like. Oh dear. Oh my god. Did I pass out? Yeah. That's a good start. <laughs> Joe blamed his dramatics on having been up at 4 a.m. for filming after a long eight day week working on this strictly come dancing podcast. Number three. Over the years, Katie Hopkins has made a name for herself by saying what she thinks, often appearing with bold and controversial statements. She appeared on This Morning talking about kids' names. She later goes on to explain her dislike of names that relate to geographical locations. I do make a very quick decision based on their first names. And there's a whole bunch of first names that I don't like. I don't like footballers' names. I don't like names after seasons of the year. I don't like geographical location names, celebrity names, things like Apple, things like, you know, Tilly Fizz or Jolly Apple, whatever they've decided to call their crazy. Poppy. My child's called Poppy. Yes, it's a flower. Well, it's a flower. So, so like, parents you say, what about geographic other? stuff? Geographic. Oh, so Brooklyn or London. Your or... child's called Indian. Yes, but you know, <laughs> that's because she's, it's not related to a location. That's because it's India related to a location. India isn't a location? Family. No. We're talking about education? India's a very, very lovely name for a very lovely child. I right. think Katie I think, was on gas and air when she chose those names. Uh, yeah, I, d I think you'd f s sort of, it's a little hollow. I think never do it. Number two. We could talk all day about the chaos that has gone down on reality show Big Brother over the years. But there is no greater iconic chaos than the mishap caused by Tiffany Pollard on season 17. When Angie Bowie learned of the passing of her ex-husband David Bowie, she confided in Tiffany. Confusion instantly took over, with Tiffany believing the news was instead about fellow housemate David Guest, who was asleep in the next room. Anything? You can't say a word. Nothing. No, it's not. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't do that. What the f 
is that? Sit down. Oh sit my down. gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Sit down. Sit down. Oh stop gosh. it. Stop it. They're all gonna know. We <gasps> gotta stop. Okay, I know you're gonna stop. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, you were playing. I know you're joking. I would never joke. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wait, wait. Oh gosh. Okay, this is just a joke. What? 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 Sit down, babe. Sit down. Sit down. They told me that David is dead. David's, She's, yes. David's, David's. Yes. She well, said he joking. just died and I can't f hold this in by myself. No. Yeah. Oh, you got to help me. I got to deal with this now. I f***ed it up. Oh, Jesus. Where's David? Oh, Where's David? Where's David? Oh, Where's David? He's fine. He's fine. He's, He's fine. fine. Why the f*** did she hit What the hell? She told me that David died. Angie. Angie's Angie, just said that David's just David. died. What the f*** was she doing Sit that? down. Come and see him. David, she just told me what that you were dead. What? What the f That is so f sick. Is he a little? Chill, chill. No, 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 chill. Chill, That's chill, 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 chill. Tiffany. No, Tiffany. What? What's she doing Tiffany. that to me? Tiffany. 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 What? Don't, 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 don't stay away. Come on, here. Sit with me. Sit Come with me. Down. Why Come was she that f***ing that Come and sit down. down. Come on, babe. Keep them apart. What did apart. I do? You told her that David was dead with cancer. Yes, he is. He's in there, asleep. David, my ex-husband. What does okay. she think? Okay, let me calm it down. Let me calm the situation what down. What is the matter with her? Number one, a quick jump back to live TV news. And a classic was born when political science professor Robert Kelly gave a live interview on BBC News from his home office, only to be disrupted by his kids in the background. Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting... Shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. <laughs> what is this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. Despite the chaos, only a week later, he reappeared on the channel, this time with all of his family, to laugh about the previous disaster interview. Yeah, we were, we were worried, actually, that the, the BBC would um, never call us again, actually. That was actually our first response to sort of mortification that uh, we had just sort of completely blown our relationship with you. What's your favorite chaotic TV moment? Are there any you think we should have mentioned? Let us know below.